of the weather now with Sherry Lee. Shezza. <laughs> Good morning, David. I'm trying to gear myself up. We've got the guys on the tube here. They're about to go down the tornado. Are you ready? Yes, yes send them on down. We want to put them through this. Now, I've heard it's pretty scary. It's the first of its kind in, or the only of its kind in Victoria. So, yeah, pretty nuts. But let me show you a bird's eye view of these slides that I'm going to be giving a go today. There go the screams. They're pretty big. They're standing up uh, very high up in the air. But you'll see them coming out here in the tube. It's pretty scary, I tell you what. I'm not the best with adrenaline, so it's been pretty, pretty tough building myself up to get to this. But let's take a look at the weather before I get myself into a tube. In Cairns, we're looking at a sunny 34 degrees today. Brisbane, partly cloudy, heading for a top of 26 degrees. Gold Coast, a possible shower and 25 Sydney, partly cloudy, a top of 21 degrees. Canberra, partly cloudy, 21 degrees as well. Melbourne, heading for a top of just 18. Hobart, a couple of showers, heading for a top of 17 degrees. Perth, partly cloudy, 23. And over to Darwin, a possible storm and 35 degrees. Well, I did this yesterday <laughs> and uh, taking a look at the vision now, it's pretty scary. So there's a huge bowl that you come out of. And as I said before, I'm not really feeling the adrenaline of it today. But <laughs> and it's a little bit chilly here in Victoria as well, but it's one of two huge slides here. You've also got the Aqua Racer, which we saw the kids on before. But guys, I'm gonna give it another go because you know, that's what you have to do in this gig. That's what I've got. Oh my, she's going again, she's going for more. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh no, I don't know about She's brave and we never saw her again, you yeah. guys. Bye, Sherry. When was the last time you saw Sherry Lee? Well, she was going backwards down this really scary ride. She's gone into the vortex. Oh, hang on, here she comes. Wait, where is she? Oh, it looks like a giant. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, she's really scary. Oh, those she's really poor other kids. Oh, my God. I'd like to apologise to the parents of those other kids on the ride. She is. She's screaming. she's she's okay though. Is she? <laughs> Bye, Sherry. Bye, Sherry. She's so brave. I mean, <laughs> Good morning, guys. Well, we're at Adventure Park at the Ballerine Peninsula this morning. We're having a great morning. I got down the tornado and I'm surprised that my voice is still intact. I was screaming very loudly. Now we're heading on to the tsunami. So I actually came here yesterday. Take a look at this. I gave the tsunami a go myself, but we are sitting seven storeys up above ground level here. So pretty high. So there's a long way to go down, but this is the only triple funnel water slide in Victoria. It's the ultimate aquatic rush and around 250,000 people come here to give it a go. So it certainly must be good and I'm about to give it a go in a second. But first, let's take a look at what the weather is doing across the country now. Can sunny, heading for a top of 34 degrees. Brisbane, partly cloudy, 26. The Gold Coast, a possible shower, 25. Sydney, partly cloudy and 21 degrees. Canberra, partly cloudy, 21. Melbourne, a top of 18 degrees. Hobart, a couple of showers and a top of 17. Adelaide, cloud clearing, a top of 26 degrees. Perth, partly cloudy and a top of 23 and Darwin a possible storm heading for a top of 35 degrees okay well I've heard that wasn't me doing a fart that was just me getting into the tube <laughs> we're ready to go we're giving the tsunami a go push us on down oh it's still have another go at it Thanks Bye. for clarifying that wasn't you oh, oh they're stuck go on, go on. Go. now go, she goes go, wait go. we'll see her in a second go camera oh wow Oof. Oof. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's early in the morning for that cold water, isn't it? so it's early. <laughs> Good on you, Shares. So tell us about power. Well, power. I've got, I've got Saturday night covered. You can be wrapping presents for power. We've got tour tickets on sale. <laughs> it's really just to go. Power is the fourth fragrance to the instalment with my incredible team at Chemist Warehouse. So it's, 
If I can, it's really beautiful. You really. Oh, so nice. What do you nice. recommend doing Smell about twelve? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Walk through it, and that's, that is, how, that's, the that's how we do it, that, right? You know, you I can see you the power. Get into yeah. Yeah. Before you delta. <laughs> it's it's actually, actually really nice. It's actually really nice. It's beautiful. Beautiful. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's really subtle. Because sometimes these things can be quite overwhelming, but I like that. one. Lisa, I've already opened it, but you have had the. <laughs> I've also already used it. Oh, that's yours. Is that it's weird? It's yours now. Is yeah, it's yours now. Give it to Lisa. Yours. It's metrosexual. Yes, yes. Anyone can wear it, of course. Happy Friday to you, Lara. Happy Friday. Um, Happy Friday. Did you guys get some sleep? Yeah, I, I was going to watch the Harry and Meghan thing last night, but I, I just was so tired and I'd been out with the kids mm. all day and I ran out of time. I watched about two minutes. I was the same. I was um, Godmother Duties yesterday yeah. afternoon, which was What about lovely. you, Lara? I but, watched um, your episode. Yeah. Thank God Lara, you guys you were going to be only, like, I you were the research. one to say no and we knew peer pressure. I went through all of that for nothing. <laughs> would overcome like, you. And so sh Lara, poor luck, like watched the most. All week to do she watched this. the most and we were the one that was, we were supposed to be watching it. I can tell you all about it. Thanks, We've got Lara. the highlights. We've got the highlights. Sure. That is Harry and Meghan. Yeah, and you've got a comprehensive yeah, rundown. <laughs> like, what I'm saying is you two <laughs> bailed out early on me. Thanks, guys. Life was, I was really busy. Yeah, yesterday. we needed my sleep. Hair. <laughs> Fair enough. It's been great to have your company all week, but don't go anywhere because no. Tim and Belinda are here with Extra. And I don't know if the team at Extra know, but did you guys know that Harry and Meghan dropped a doco? <laughs> <laughs> you should talk about it. Tell us about it. Breaking news. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be talking about that all morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling. Thank you, guys. See you guys. You have a lovely weekend. Week Five basic money questions all Australians should be able to answer, but most get them wrong. Probably me as well. So today, money expert <laughs> Effie Zahos has decided to put us to the test oh, this morning. Okay. I just, I really was anxious about this. <laughs> did you stay up all I night? Just I, did. About it. I, <laughs> didn't, I just blanked it. You didn't cheat. All right, so. Oh, I don't know anything. I'm a blank Why, good, why good. has this particular survey yeah. left people stumped? Well, it, it's um, actually caused a bit of concern with the researchers and professors that have put this together because we have actually gone backwards in financial literacy. Mm -hmm. So the survey is done by Hilda and it's quite extensive. 17,000 people took this survey basically in 2016. They asked five money questions. They asked the same money questions in 2020 and this report has just come out this week. Mm -hmm. And what they found is that we have gone backwards in financial literacy according to these five All questions. Right, let's see There's questions. a gender gap as well and the younger are actually failing as well. Oh. Alright, well yep. I'll prove them wrong. Let's see what that means. <laughs> I said younger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go Okay, on. so I'm going to ask you I'm going to ask you two questions out of the five. So first one, <laughs> the interest rate on your saving account was 1% per year and the inflation was 2% per year, after one year would you be able to buy more than today, exactly the same as today or less than today? 1% is the inflation is 2%. Uh, less. I'll, I'll go less. less. Oh, you two are so clever. Yes, less. Now, this actually is probably very reflective of what's happening right now. Yeah. So a lot of people may know that answer because they're actually feeling it. Mm. But remember in 2020, probably not so um, felt. Okay. One more question here. Okay, so true or false. Buying shares in a single company usually provides a safer return than buying shares in a number of companies. False. I don't know the answer. <laughs> True or false? Is there, is there a third option? C. No. I was false, close false. then. And look, I can understand why people may get this wrong too, because industry insiders know, mm. yes, diversification, don't put all your eggs in one basket. But as, I, as the report notes, that it could also be because people think, well, there's so much to manage. Is it riskier or not riskier? So the findings, if you want to see how you actually compared against most Aussies, yeah. here are the results. Yeah, let's have a look. I was 50 so, 50 there. 50 50. <laughs> Men got four out of five. Okay. Females, 3.5 out of five. I did. I did, yeah, but I kind of asked. But in both else. instances, we failed. <laughs> Whatever gender they are, we have failed. Doesn't and matter who actually... you are, you failed. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the 15 to 24 year olds, unfortunately, less. Wow. A couple of reasons can be, you know, because of this. First of all, males t still tend to do the big investment decisions, mm. and that could be, you know, they're uh, getting their education through doing rather than learning. And also, millennials, I guess it comes down to parents. Are parents talking to their kids about financial affairs? I reckon they're just so, putting it all on NFTs. Can we just come see you, Effie? <laughs> yeah, Effie, can you stand <laughs> just like tell us come to my place. All right, all right. Effie, thank Thanks, you. Effie. G'day Today Show viewers, uh, thanks for watching YouTube, our YouTube channel is fantastic. Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips, come on, you know you want to.